afternoon, Phil. So we noticed that you noted on your health history that you're having some numbness and tingling on your left side in front of the thigh. Yeah. And you have a family history of asthma. Yeah. That's about everything that you've really checked off on your health history that we need to be concerned of. So basically, I'm just going to go over some quick little interview questions. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm a janitor. Okay. Yeah. Um, when was your hip replacement again? Uh, about three months ago. Okay, right up there. Um, do you have any? Did you have any complications during the hip replacement, during the surgery at all? Not really. No. Okay. And any drug allergies we should be aware of? No. No. Um, are you taking any prescription medications? Uh, yeah, I actually take naproxen. Okay. Um, just when like my hips acting up. Okay, no problem. Okay, so now we're just gonna go right into basically the pain question. So this is towards any of the pain that you're having for today, for today's treatment. So do you get any pain at night at all? No. No. Um, when is your pain the worst? Um, when I'm getting like in or out of my car. Okay. And um, like getting out of bed, that type of stuff. And that's what really aggravates yeah. it. Okay. Um, could you describe the pain at all? Um, it's really achy, like where my incision is, like the, it's really around my scar is really tight, okay. and like I get lower back pain. Okay. Does it feel like the pain kind of moves? Um, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Um, if we put it on a pain scale, one being very low in pain, and ten being the worst pain you've ever ex experienced, what would you rate the pain? Um, about a seven. A seven? Okay. Do you ever get relief from the pain? Um, when I'm late, like at the end of the day, I really in bed, the pressure is really released. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Massage on your hip. Uh, we will be treating your hip area, your glutes as well. Um, I see that you have no real contra contraindications. The only caution that we'll be aware of is you did have the hip replacement three months ago. Um, and because you're feeling perfectly great, we'll be continuing with the treatment. After the treatment has been completed, you'll feel less pain and hopefully an increase in your range of motion. Some side effects that may occur are some muscle soreness, which you already have. And to fix all that, you just need to continually drink lots of water. Um, if you do not have this treatment today, you will not feel better in those areas. Uh, at any point during the treatment, you feel that something is wrong, the pressure is too much, or you just need a moment, do say something and we will stop the treatment. Um, and if I cannot take care of or address the areas of concern, I will refer you out to another healthcare practitioner. Um, do you have any questions at this time? No. Okay, do I have your consent to perform this treatment? Yes, you do. Perfect. After observing the client's gait and postural analysis, we decided that the client was compensating on the right side, they had a shortened stride, there was a dropped hip on the left side, an elevated hip on the right side, and muscle atrophy on the left side, and the client swings their left leg outward. They do all these things on the left side because that is the affected side. The client is doing a Trendelenburg sign test. This tests the SI joint, specifically the gluteus medius. The client does a single leg stance and you ask them to bring their hip to neutral. If their hip drops, that's a positive test which shows a weakness in glute med on the stance side. So now we're going to go through some active range of motion for your affected side. We just went through them for your unaffected side and everything was good and normal. So can I have you just for flexion, just lift your leg off the table as far as you can. That's painful. Okay. Definitely put it back down. And then we'll do some adduction. So bring it in back to the midline of the body as far as you can. And painful there, a little, and back to neutral, and then abduction. So bringing it out as far, and that's painful there. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then I'm just gonna have you turn over onto your stomach. Yes. And just hop in here, stabilize it there. Okay, and then extend. So bringing that leg up off the table. And painful there. Yeah. Okay. And then if you just uh, bend your leg here, and if you bring your foot out, some internal rotation, and then back to neutral, and 
in some external rotation, and that's where it gets painful there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And then you can bring it back down. Okay, we're going to be doing some passive range of motion now. We just did the um, unaffected side, which was all within normal limits, and now we're going to be doing the affected side. So we'll start with um, some flexion. I'm not going to bring the knee farther than 60 degrees because I don't want to dislocate the hip. Any pain? A little bit. Okay. And now we'll do some passive adduction. Pain discomfort? Not too bad. Okay. And now we'll do abduction. Pain discomfort? Yeah, definitely some there. Yeah. Okay. And now I'll have you turn over. Slowly, surely. You're okay? Yeah. Okay. That's comfortable? Yeah. Okay, and now we're going to do some hip ex... We <laughs> have to switch sides, sorry. <laughs> now we're going to do some hip extension. Pain? A little bit, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to bend your knee. We're going to do some internal and external rotation. Pain? A little bit, yeah. Any yeah. pain or discomfort? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so we're doing some resistive range of motion. Um, we're going to start with flexion. We're going to build for five and hold for five. I'm going to stabilize your hip and then um, it's going to get you as far up as you can. We obviously don't want to go too far because you know on the columns. And we're going to build for five and hold five. Ready? Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, four, five, five, three. Hold. So I'll give you about a grade of three. Um, we're going to do um, resisted um, abduction and adduction. We're going to do abduction first. So I'll get you to bring out your leg as far as you can. I'm going to stabilize with your hip. And we're going to go five, hold five again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And I did that a grade of three because you can pull the contraction again. And we're going to do some um, adduction now. So I'm going to stabilize again at your hip. I'm going to go for five, hold for five, bring your leg, leg in. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Okay, again, I'm going to bend three to three. I'm going to get you to flip over onto your stomach as carefully as you can. Switch sides. We're going to do some extension, so I'm going to uh, stabilize on your back, and I'll get you to Raise your leg as far as up as you can and go five, hold for five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Again, grade of three. Um, then we do some internal and external rotation. So we're going to do some um, uh, external rotation. So I'm going to get you to resist against my hand here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. On the other side, ready? Against my hand here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, five. Our three treatment goals for this client are to reduce pain to a 2 out of 10 rather than a 7 out of 10 for the trigger point in their glute med. We are also going to reduce fascial adhesions and scar tissue. And our third is to increase range of motion. Um, because they are still relative, they are in a chronic stage, but they are still relatively close to being post-treatment. We are just going to use passive range of motion to maintain the range of motion. And then uh, a little bit further down the line, we'll start doing some active range of motion to really increase the range of motion. Um, some modifications that we are going to be cautious of, we're not going to be having uh, the hip go past uh, 60 degrees just because we don't want to cause any more damage or have the hip come out. And uh, they did test positive for dermatome, so we're going to be careful that if the sensation in that anterior thigh is they are having some numbness and tingling. Okay, so we just finished working on your unaffected side. Um, while we were doing that, we had heat on the affected side. And so we're just going to do a side line and drape. That's okay.
raw. Make sure that that whole scar is exposed. Check it here. And does that feel secure? Yep. Alrighty. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So what we're going to do first, since the area is already heated and warm, we're going to do some passive ranges of motion. We're going to do abduction flexion and extension. So those are your areas where you're having some soreness and pain. So we'll start with that. We'll do each one a few times, being making sure not to go past 60 degrees as we don't want to create any more pain than necessary and we don't want the hip to actually come out again. So um, I'm going to have you hold the drape here, making sure it's nice and secure so you have total control of that. We'll start with abduction. I'm just going to stabilize here at the hip. And just slight. Oh, yeah, it was tender. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So we'll just do it a couple times, making sure not to go past that. Once more. You still doing okay? Yep. Okay. okay. So we're going to move into extension. Right about there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So just do this a couple times. More. Still doing okay? Yep. Not recreating too much pain. It's tender, but I'm okay. Okay. Perfect. Last time. Awesome. That's probably more comfortable for you. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do some That's okay there? Yep. Not too, too uncomfortable. Times. Everything staying secure? Yep. to assess the fascia and the scar tissue, see where the adhesions really are, what we need to work on. So I'm just going to start with some myofascial, since I don't have any lotion on my hands yet. And just either end. Keeping the same amount of pressure, holding it, and eventually that pressure will release. Creep. You doing okay? Yep. It's not too painful. No. Just a little bit of burning on mm. the skin. That's totally normal. Okay, next we're going to work, same area, we're going to do what's called a J-stroke. It just works. Same thing to break up the, those fascial adhesions. We're going to do them along the spine. Is that okay? Not too, too painful? It's a little, a little tender. Little, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll go back down. Still doing okay? Yep. Wonderful. As good as you can be doing when I'm working on your scar tissue. <laughs> <laughs> 
Awesome. Okay, so we'll wash that out. Okay, next we're going to do some frictions along the same area. I'm just going to make sure it's really flushed out before I get it. Okay, so let me know how this is. It can be a little tender. Doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go up and then I'll flush you out and then I'll go back down. Yay. <laughs> okay. Little redness, just it's not really getting in there. Okay, so same thing, just going the opposite way now. Good stuff. So I'm just going to flush you out. And use a little lotion. Just flush it. It's probably going to be a little tender tomorrow in that spot. Okay. So once I'm done flushing, we are going to redrape you. And then I'm going to turn you over prone onto your stomach. And we're going to work on the trigger point in your glutes that are kind of giving you that added pain. Yep. Okay. So, flash. So, we have to go in here. Uh, okay, so now that we have you on your stomach, I'm just going to do some muscle squeezing, warm up these tissues, and then we can get in some glute work, trying to decrease that pain because of those trigger points. Okay, so I'm just going to undrape your leg mm -hmm. and get high enough so that we can work on that glute. Roll. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I just tuck it in yeah. right there? How is that? You feel secure? Yep. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna So you were saying your pain kind of goes into 
the top of your glutes there, or like your yeah, lower back. Lower back. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to strum along the glute med, which runs from your iliac fossa to your greater trochanter. I'm feeling a top band in here. So I'm just going to strum. Really, it's really tender in there. Really tender? And is it making that pain refer anywhere? Yeah, my lower back I can feel it. In that there. same yeah. spot? Okay. Perfect. So I'm just going to stay on that area. Using the same amount of pressure, just compress. And is the pain still there? Um, getting it's getting a little bit better. Getting better. Awesome. So I'm just gonna keep that pressure on until we feel that release and the pain is kind of diminished. How's that pain now? It's a lot better. It's not as bad as it was. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to do some really specific needs. And is it common for my nose to get congested? Yeah, for sure. That's, that's a good sign. That's one of the signs that we want to see with the trigger point. How's the pain now? It's a lot better. Yeah? It's starting to go yeah. Perfect. I'm just going to flush out that area. Just going to drape quickly. There we go. Much better. Flush, flush. Awesome. Okay. Now that we work on that trigger point, just going to flush. And finish with some stroking. I'm just going to retreat. Okay, how are you feeling now? Better. Better. Perfect. Good stuff. All right, so I'm going to go over some home care with you today. Um, I like, would like you to do some self-massage, so skin rolling and myofascial release. For over your hip, I can show you on your arm what you're supposed to do. So for skin rolling, you just want to um, push with your thumbs and use your fingers to roll over um, the scar. You want that good amount of skin to uh, work out the um, adhesions and everything on your scar. And looks good. <laughs> um, some myofascial release. So I can just get you to use your two fingers that will be over the scar and just pulling the skin and the fascia below it. Um, you should feel a little bit of like burning and stuff over the scar. Um, I'd also like you to do some um, hydrotherapy, so um, warm heat over your low back and your glutes just to release some of the muscle tension there for about 10 minutes twice a day. And then um, to work on your range of motion of your hip, um, I'd like you to do um, 5 to 10 minutes of walking around 2 to 3 times a day just to uh, keep maintain and keep your range of motion. Um, we eventually want to build up to 20 to 30 minutes um, of walking two to three times a day again also. Um, I will be in contact with your family doctor and your physiotherapist to go over what we discussed today and see what their thoughts are. Um, I would also like to see you um, every week, once a week, um, just to maintain and hopefully fix um, and work on your scar. 
um, and we'll reassess in six weeks. Perfect.